Good day everyone. So this time, didiscuss natin paano nga ba mag-graph ng linear equation in two variables given yung slope and a point. Let's say for example yung ating slope or m. Now remember, m stands for slope. Let's say slope niya ay 2 third, 2 over 3. Then, uh, it passes through the point negative 3, 4. Gagrap daw natin ito. Yung slope niya is 2 third. Tapos, it passes through the point negative 3 and 4. So, ano kaya ang itsura ng graph na to? So, we need to have yung ating Cartesian plane. Okay, first step. Kailangan i-plot natin yung negative 3 and 4. Hanapin muna natin yung negative 3 sa x-axis. Ito nandito, no? yung negative 3. Then, yung positive 4 naman sa y-axis. Nandito. Okay? So, pagtapatin lang natin yung dalawang yan, so, ibig sabihin, nandito yung ating point. Okay. Now, pwede ka lang makagawa ng graph kapag meron kang at least two points. So, since isang point pa lang ito, we need another point. Okay? So, nasaan nga ba yung pangalawang point? Kailangan na natin yung ating slope. Yan. Kailangan natin yan. Remember that m or slope is equal to rise over run. So, yung slope ang magdedetermine kung nasaan yung pangalawang point. Rise. This is the rise. Ibig sabihin, from this point, aakyat tayo ng dalawang units. So, bilang ka ng dalawa, 1, 2. Okay? Then, stop ka dyan. Then, ito namang 3, that, yung, that will be our run. Kapag yung slope natin ay positive, from this point, kung saan ka nag-stop, bilang ka ng tatlong units papunta sa kanan. Pero kung ang slope ay negative, papunta ka sa kaliwa. E since is is positive, pupunta ka ngayon sa kanan. Ilang units? 3. Kasi 3 yung ating run. 1, 2, and 3. So, ibig sabihin, nandito yung ating pangalawang point. Okay? We have now point 1, point 2. Para makapagbuo tayo ng graph, we just connect the points. Iyan na yung ating graph. Let's try another one. Okay, let's say the slope is negative 3 pif and passes through the point 2 and 1. We have to graph the line. Itong negative 3 pif, that is our m. Okay, then 2, 1 is our point. We need a Cartesian plane. Now, i-plot muna natin yung 2 and 1. So, nasa quadrant 1, 2, tapos 1. So, ibig sabihin, nandito yan. Then, we need another point. So, tingnan natin yung kanyang rise. That is 3. From this point, bilang tayo ng tatlong units. 1, 2, 3. So, stop ka dyan. Then, pupunta tayo sa kanan o kaliwa, depende sa ating slope. E, since this is negative, pupunta tayo ngayon sa kaliwa. Okay, ilang units sa kaliwa? 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Stop ka dyan. So, ibig sabihin, nandito yung ating pangalawang point. So, since meron na tayong dalawang points, we, cannot, we can now connect the points. Ayan. Ayan na yung ating graph. ba Madali lang. Okay. Now, let's have another one. The slope is 5 and passes through the point negative 1 and negative 3. So, ang slope natin ay... 5. We need a Cartesian plane. So, i-plot muna natin negative 1, negative 3. Anong quadrant yan? That is quadrant 3 kasi parehas negative. Nandito ang negative 1 sa x-axis yan, di ba? Then, ito ay sa y-axis, negative 3. Pagtapatin natin yan, ito yung kanyang point. And then, our slope is 5. Asulat natin, m is equal to 5. Okay, remember, kapag whole number yan, meron niyang over 1. This is the rise, this is the run. From this point, ilang units tayo pataas? Inlan yung rise niya? 5. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Then, stop tayo dyan. Now, pupunta tayo kanan o kaliwa? Kanan, kasi this is positive. Ilang unit? 1 lang. Kasi understood na may 1 dyan. 1. Okay? So, nandito yung ating pangalawang point. Then, pwede na natin i-connect yung ating points. So, iyan na yung ating
graph. Let's have our last example. The slope is negative 1 fourth and passes through the point 3, 0. So, yung ating point na ipaplot ay 3, 0. Since pangalawa yung 0, iyan ay nasa x-axis. So, nandito yan. Yan. Then, we, uh, our slope is negative 1 fourth. So, our rise is 1. Okay, so bilang tayo ng 1. Nandyan. Now, our run is 4. Pero saan tayo pupunta? Kanan o kaliwa? Okay, ito ang tatandaan natin. No? Negative 1 fourth is equal sa negative 1 fourth. So, equal lang yan. Ibig sabihin, yung slope natin ay negative. Kahit nasa taas yung negative or nasa gitna, negative pa rin yun. Ibig sabihin, pupunta yan sa kaliwa. Kasi ito ay negative. Ilang units tayo sa papuntang kaliwa? 4 units. We count 1, 2, 3, 4. Nandito yung ating pangalawang point. Pwede na natin silang i-connect. Okay? So that's how to graph linear equation in two variables given yung slope and a point.